Are you all about exploring the world on wheels? Today you're taking a deep dive into the world of motorhomes, those amazing vehicles that offer you the freedom to travel wherever you want while enjoying the comforts of home. From luxury Class A motorhomes to more compact camper vans, I'll be showing you some of the most innovative and awe-inspiring models on the market. Enjoy! Wow, this Thor Ace looks pretty compact. The first thing you notice is a big windshield and that pet window for your fluffy friend. But you can use it for better visibility when riding through the city streets. There are a couple of huge storage bays, an exterior 32-inch TV with a soundbar for a family movie night outside, and one more inside, and even an awning for sunny or a bit rainy day. The Ford F53 chassis is rock solid for hitting up all the national parks and roadside attractions on your list. The cruise control makes highway driving a breeze. When you're parked, the leatherette captain's chairs swivel and recline to become part of the living space. Let's check out what's inside. Well, it's pretty spacious, I must admit. Inside, you've got a whole living room with a sofa bed, a kitchen, a bathroom, a dinette with a charging area, and sleeping quarters. But wait, press the button and watch a sliding wall expand the space even more. The kitchen is a cook's dream with a double door fridge, plenty of counter space, a gas cooktop, microwave, and double sink with a sprayer. The bedrooms fit for a king or queen. Don't forget to charge your devices using the handy USB port. Phew, that's a lot. Let's talk about a superstar on our list, the Newmar Motorhome. I mean, it's literally called the Superstar, so you know it's got to be good. First off, it's got a double awning and a TV with a soundbar for all your outdoor entertainment needs. By the way, there's even a bigger TV inside. Plus, there's even some storage space in the rear cab. But let's step inside the cockpit. You'll see a huge sky window that lets in tons of natural light and a power shade to block it out if it gets too bright. The air ride captain's chairs are super comfy with pneumatic lumbar support to make sure you have a smooth ride, and the dash radio has a built-in 9-inch monitor with nav and Apple CarPlay. Plus, there's a JBL 180-watt system and subwoofer for some serious audio. Now let's talk about the inside. The Superstar has a sliding wall, so there's plenty of room for any kind of activity. And what about the kitchen? You won't be disappointed. There are tons of cabinets to store all your cooking stuff, an all-electric flush mount induction cooktop, a microwave oven, and a built-in fridge. And let's not forget the pantry for extra storage space. Of course, there's a bathroom complete with all the usual amenities. And finally, the bedroom boasts a king-size bed and one more TV for all your nighttime viewing needs. And get this, there's even a two-piece stacked washer and dryer so you can throw a laundry day whenever you want. Sounds like a superstar to me. Next up is an addition that was inspired by the national parks and spending more time outdoors with family. It's called Vista NPF, and it's got some really awesome features. First, it's got advanced energy technology with a 320 amp hour battery and 315 watt solar panels to keep you charged up. The cockpit's also pretty sweet. There's a big touch panel color monitor that makes it easy to see when backing up and gives you all the info you need on the road. Plus, the cab seats swivel around for a comfy ride. And if you need to get some work done, there's a utility table and a tray you can unfold to use as a desk. When you finally get to your destination point, just extend the slide out using either the touchscreen or your phone and you've got yourself a dinette table to cook and eat on. There's a fridge with plenty of room for food storage and a burner and microwave oven to prep your meals. And the king-size bed is super cozy. But if you've got more people with you, there's also a studio loft bed that fits two more adults. In the hole, it fits up to six people. Now, here's why this motorhome is perfect for national parks. With up to 147 cubic feet of lighted exterior storage, you can easily bring along larger items, toys, and gear. And when you need a break from the sun, the armless patio awning and wraparound batwing awning provide lots of shade for outdoor living, including an exterior kitchen and entertainment system. So get out there and enjoy the great outdoors wherever the road takes you. Did you know that motorhomes aren't just an American thing? Let me tell you about the Morello Palace. It's a sweet example of German engineering. One of the coolest things about this vehicle is that it's designed to haul big gear, like bikes, with ease. Plus, the built-in cams on the side mirrors give you a crystal clear view of the road so you can maneuver like a ball. But that's not all. The Action Drive Assist is like having a co-pilot on board. It keeps you at a safe distance from the car in front of you and makes sure you stay in your lane. And if you need more room to stretch out, just hit the slide out button and watch your living space grow. The kitchen and living room are equipped with everything you need to live your best life on the road. And of course, there's a king-size bed to rest your weary head at the end of the day. Don't forget about the spacious bathroom and underfloor heating, too. It's like a luxury hotel on wheels. So if you want to take your motorhome game to the next level, give the Morello Palace a spin. 
Unlike the previous models, this one from Keystone, Montana is a fifth wheel. It lacks a dinette, and it's also smaller since it fits up to four people. Nevertheless, it fits all the comforts you might need on the road. As you walk into the main entrance door, the first thing you'll see is a U-shaped kitchen. This is a nice design with a three burner stove with a 22 inch oven. There's a large microwave and a decent sink as well, but the third wall is either a breakfast bar or prep space depending on who's doing what. That's the only built-in eating surface, and you're sitting on two bar stools to grab a bite. Opposite the kitchen in a large campsite slide is the refrigerator. Next to that is an L-shaped sofa with a big lounge extension that you can use as a daybed. There's plenty of space under that sofa for storage. Across from the sofa is a large TV, and below that is the fireplace. Heading upstairs, the upper deck features the spacious bathroom, the bed's available in either queen or king size. Wow, this Dembel RV looks like a fancy tour bus at first glance, but guess what? It's got an integrated garage underneath to store your city car up to 13 feet long. How cool is that? Let's step inside and check it out. The living space is so roomy it almost feels like a studio apartment, but what really catches my eye is the cockpit with four air-conditioned seats that have a built-in air spring system and massage function. And if you need an extra bed, just lower it down in the living area. There's a comfy sofa and a rotating table that can also be used as a coffee table. And when you're ready to eat outside, just pop up the awning with LED lighting and don't forget the screen for some shade. Oh, and the kitchen has everything you need to whip up a delicious meal. The ceiling window lets in plenty of natural light too. Now let's check out the bathroom. Shower, check. Sink, check. Built-in washer and dryer, check. And get this, the toilet is motorized and heated. Score! And finally, the king-size bed looks like the perfect spot for a good night's sleep. All in all, this has got to be one of the fanciest and most luxurious motorhomes out there. Who needs that tiny RV after the previous one? It's made by Coachman, a brand that's been making RVs for nearly 60 years, so you know it's reliable. They really paid attention to detail with this one, making sure there's plenty of storage space both inside and out. As soon as you walk in, you'll see a cute little kitchen with everything you need, a stove, fridge, microwave, and cabinets for all your cooking essentials. The dinette is also compact, but has cup holders and can double as a workspace. If you need some alone time, there's another table in the cockpit you can use. Need a quick nap? No problem. The sofa easily converts to a bed. And when it's time to hit the hay for real, you can stretch out on the king-size bed in the bedroom. And get this, the bathroom and toilet are separate. Not too shabby, huh? See? Not as bad as you first thought. Hold up, did you just mistake that for a regular off-road vehicle? Check again. That beast of a machine is actually a two-story motorhome that can make any Dakar rally vehicle green with envy. It's the SLVR Commander, and it's equipped with a powered two-story roof that stretches out to 39.4 feet, making it big enough to house a family of eight with extra room to spare. On the first level, you'll find a massive kitchen and a master suite with a full bathroom that screams luxury, but that's not all, folks. The second level has six twin beds with storage space underneath each for all your gear, as well as two retractable TV monitors, the 48-volt solar panel system on the roof will keep you juiced up, and it handles off-road terrain like a pro, so you can go as rough as you want. Wait, are you trying to tell me that aliens don't exist? Anyway, let me tell you about the Element Palazzo Superior. It's the ultimate motorhome that's known around the world for being the most luxurious and amazing one ever made. This beast is two stories tall, weighs a whopping 44,000 pounds, is 40 feet long and 13 feet high. The mobile home is divided into different areas, and one of them is called the Sky Lounge, which is on the first floor and has massage chairs, heated floors, and even a retractable bar. But the craziest part is the terrace that's 700 square feet and located on the roof of the car. You can press a button and it automatically rises up and comes equipped with a bar and a heating system. It's seriously mind-blowing. No way you're gonna trick me! I know that's a tricked-out motorhome that looks like a rugged expedition truck. Meet the Unicat Man 4x4-based MD57, a beast that can tackle any terrain from rocky mountains to sandy dunes. This isn't your typical weekend getaway ride. It's built to explore remote, off-grid locations for weeks on end. It can hold up to 170 gallons of fresh water split between two tanks and recharge its battery bank with a 1,620-watt solar system. And if the sun's not shining, a 2-kilowatt gas generator kicks in to keep the power going. Let's head inside, shall we? The kitchen has everything you need, an induction cooktop, sink, oven, microwave, and fridge slash freezer. The bathroom area includes a toilet, shower, sink, mirror, cabinets, and even a towel, dryer, slash heater. 
The rear of the cabin features a double bed just behind a U-shaped dinette that can be converted into a second bed. And yes, they've managed to fit in a washing machine. There's even some extra space outside for your bike. Check out another sweet little motorhome from Coachman. It's compact but packed with features. First up, there's a huge patio awning and a rear door that opens up to a lot of storage space. This is also where your main bedroom is located. And if you're feeling a little stuffy, there's a built-in screen to let in some fresh air. There's also a backup camera to help you out when parking. Inside, there's a queen bed above the cockpit, and the dining and kitchen areas have everything you need to prep and enjoy your meals. Plenty of cabinets keep your stuff organized. The bathroom's pretty standard, but the real cool part is the bedroom slash cargo area. The bed latches against the wall to give you more space during the day. This one looks like a giant power bank. It is a giant power bank, because this Death Left's e-home motorhome runs on an electric drive. Around 334 square feet of solar panels have been placed all over the RV and can generate up to 3,000 watts of juice. All the power processed by the panels is then stored and accessed from a 228 amp hour battery. The manufacturer does state that the battery is suitable for around 1,500 cycles, resulting in a maximum range of around 155,342 miles. There are a lot of other great features, but there's just one tiny con. You can't buy it. It's still a concept. Why? Well, it's not really hard to imagine what had happened to all these solar cells as you're riding down pebble and insect-ridden highways. Like many inventions, it had the right idea, just maybe not the best execution. Oh, this one is a great option for those who want to spend the weekend in the wild. With seating for four, the compact Solus NPF is versatile enough to function as a family car, yet is fully equipped to serve as a home away from home. Open the back doors to reveal some space to store two bikes and to hang a couple of backpacks. And there's your main bed too. It's time to explore the interior. The first thing you see is a dinette or a working zone. That depends on what you do. Then there's a tiny kitchen with a faucet, two burner propane cooktop, and the prep area you can actually extend. On the opposite side, there's a bathroom. Yeah, it's not spacious, but come on, that's a van. Now let's pop up that roof and voila, you've got another bed suitable for two more adults. But I think it'll be occupied with kids because it looks like a treehouse. Does this motorhome look bulky to you? Look how agile it actually is. Dynamax DX3 is one of the most highly desired on the market at the moment. The manufacturer says there's a waiting list for those who'd like to get this RV. Let's check out why. On the outside, you see the awning and a TV for camping outside and a lot of space to keep all your stuff. Let's step inside. Wow, it's spacious. There's a huge king-size bed, but there's a lot of places you can turn into a sleeping space. For example, that sofa or those two smaller sofas in the kitchenette. A couple of bunk beds and there's one more queen bed above the driver's seat. You'll like the entertainment system. There's a TV inside and a premium JBL cab system that comes with a series of speakers in the ceiling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this RV can fit up to 10 to 12 people. That's another RV for true adventurers. The manufacturer says the Earthroamer XVLT is a five-star hotel merged with an off-road truck. Through the efficient use of space, they managed to pack a huge list of features into the XVLT. Better yet, they did it all elegantly with a few off-road performance compromises. You want granite countertops? No problem. A stainless steel refrigerator and freezer? Of course. The XVLT also comes with a microwave, how else would you make popcorn to eat while you watch movies on the 32-inch HDTV with Bose 5.1 surround sound? And a hot water shower. And naturally, there's heating, air conditioning, and a king-size bed. It all runs generator-free off an internal battery bank that's kept topped up with a 660-watt solar panel array. But the interior is still a serious bonus. You're ultimately buying this vehicle for its off-road capabilities. Thankfully, the options for off-road travel customization are just as plentiful as the ones for interior design. If the 37-inch standard tires aren't enough for you, Earthroamer offers a 41-inch aggressive military spec tire it's paired with an off-road air suspension system. If you're worried about getting into trouble on the road, you can install front and rear electric winches that let you self-recover the vehicle. It's the Lamborghini of the RV world, and it costs like the Lamborghini too. Two more travel vans for you guys, but this time both of them are much more spacious. Let's take a closer look. Wonder and Unity look so similar, the only difference is that Wonder is built on the Ford Transit and the Unity is built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter cab chassis. Both of them are fully customizable. 
You can pick the floor plan that suits you best and stuff your van with all the features like awning or additional table you might find useful exploring wildlife. But let's check out the most common floor plan. When you step inside, you'll see a sweet dinette that also doubles as a workspace or even an extra sleeping area. Plus, there's a TV, and you can even swivel the driver and passenger seats to face it. But the best part? The slide-out wall that creates even more space. That's it, now you can freely prep the food. Yep, the kitchen's well organized. Further, you see a spacious bathroom and another bedroom with a bed and TV to watch a movie or to play games. Honestly, these vans are so luxurious, calling them a van just doesn't do them justice. Are you trying to say this is a motorhome? Well, not quite. The manufacturer says this is an all-terrain vehicle. Yep, now I see why. This go-anywhere, do-anything overland work vehicle can haul up to 7,500 pounds of cargo or 20 people over nearly any terrain imaginable. You might think, what could it do without the trailer, though? Buddy, that's not a trailer. That's a six-wheel drive, multi-configurable cargo module that allows for all those crazy, chassis-bending shenanigans. The cab houses the driver plus three other passengers and the mighty Doosan D24 diesel engine that sends power to all 10 63-inch agricultural tires via a very simple, albeit heavy-duty, chain drive. Sherpy can climb and descend 40-degree grades, manage 30-degree cross slopes, has five feet of approach clearance thanks to that hydraulic three-axis chassis coupling, and a range of 1,200-plus miles. What do you do with this thing? Ask Kanye West, he has 15 shirts, and the answer is anything. You do anything you want. 